Hello there! I'm Larry Karaszewski and this is Trailers from Hell. Right now we're going to look at a great trailer for a pretty crappy movie. It's The Last of the Secret Agents. Um, actually, I'm saying that wrong. It's The uh, the Last of the Secret Agents? There's a question mark at the end. Uh, uh, I usually don't trust movies that have a question mark in the title. It kind of shows a, a profound lack of confidence in the material. But uh, let's take a look anyway. of the secret agents. Hmm? This is a spy spoof. I sometimes wonder if there are more spy spoofs than actual spy films. It's the only genre where the parody is more successful than a straight version. In the late 60s there were hundreds of these, brought on by the popularity of the James Bond films. This movie is actually trying to cash in on two separate phenomenons, the Bond films and Martin and Lewis. Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis were the Beatles of comedy, insanely successful in nightclubs, TV, and movies, the good-looking, skirt-chasing singer, and the nerdy, funny goofball, where the Beatles' popularity opened the door for the likes of Jerry and the Pacemakers and the Dave Clark Five. Martin and Lewis led the way for rip-offs like Duke Mitchell and Sammy Petrillo and the duo we got here, Marty Allen and Steve Rossi. Allen and Rossi got their big break on the Ed Sullivan program. Uh, they were the comedy act booked on the shows that brought the Beatles to the United States. Uh, they had a very popular catchphrase at the time, Marty Allen's, Hello there! I'm not sure why we, we thought this was funny, but it got them a feature. Hello there! Goodbye there! This film was written by the legendary Mel Tolkien the head writer of the Sid Caesar Comedy Hour, your show of shows. He's also the father to one of my favorite screenwriters, uh, Michael Tolkien, author of The Player. He's never caught one spy on toe. He's never even caught a cold. The film's director should have known something about comedy teams. It's Norman Abbott, nephew of Bud Abbott of Abbott and Costello. This is his only feature, I think, uh, but he was a big TV guy, directing The Munsters, Welcome Back Cotter, and probably the best spy spoof, uh, Get Smart. There's another famous offspring here, Frank's daughter, the lovely Nancy Sinatra. While making the film, her hit single, These Boots Were Made For Walking, was released. It was a huge hit, and the producers of the film talked her into working with that song's writer, Lee Hazelwood, to come up with a theme for this picture. The Last of the Secret Agents doesn't have many pluses, but the theme song is a keeper. I had to slap his face. What a shame. But people try to understand. He's the last of the secret agents. Will espionage ever be the same again? For those of you who are curious, find out. See the last of the secret agents.